Hi, welcome to the Ruckus Feature Explainer Series. In this episode, we're going to talk about uh, Ruckus Unleashed and specifically uh, how to assign a management IP address to your entire Unleashed network. So normally, uh, when you connect to your Unleashed master, you connect by uh, either by the DNS name or by the physical IP address of the master. So um, what we want to do is we want to create a virtual IP, if you will, uh, that belongs to whoever the current master is. So if this master fails and someone else takes over as master, I want the same IP address assigned to each potential master. So let's have a look at how we do that. So we'll just log in here. Uh, we go to admin and services and then IP settings. Okay, and so uh, what you'll see is right now I have manually set 192.168.1.185 to this access point. Uh, and each of the access points, there's three access points in this current um, Unleashed network, and each one of them will have a different IP address. So they could be assigned by DHCP or they could be manually assigned. So in, in my case, I have it manually assigned. And the problem, of course, is if the master fails over to someone else, the management IP is going to fail over to whatever the IP address is of the new master. And so you may not know what that address is. So what we want to do is go into the management interface tab here. And we're going to assign uh, a management address which can belong to anybody. Whoever the current master is will respond to this address. So we'll use uh, 192.168.1.201 in this case. Uh, we need a net mask. Obviously this needs to be a reachable address, right? So it needs to be in the same subnet. Uh, two other options here. One is use for radius services and use for SNMP services. So instead of the um, the master trying to authenticate to the radius server using its physical IP or sending out SNMP traps uh, with its physical IP, we're going to have it use um, for radius and SNMP. SNMP is automatically checked. Uh, it's going to use the the virtual address or the or this management interface. So why that's important is on the radius server in particular, you need to assign uh, who the um, who the allowed uh, uh, devices are that are allowed to talk to that radius server. So in this case, all we need to assign now is 192.168.1.201 instead of having to um, build radius rules for each uh, physical IP, each, each, each access point's IP. So really, that's all we have to do. And then we apply that. And it takes a couple of seconds to apply. So my changes have been made. So then if I open a new browser window here, I should be able to go to 168.1.201. And here we are. I'm back at my Unleash system uh, with this virtual address I just created. So that means no matter who the master is, the master will respond to, um, to 201. So you don't have to worry about who the current master is. Now you can assign a preferred master, but again, even if that preferred master dies, you still need to get to the, the uh, management address of whoever the master is at that point. All right, so that's it. Uh, easy but super helpful uh, feature um, so that you always know who your, who your management IP is. All right, so that's it for today, and uh, have a great day. Take care.